Welcome to the jungle. So what I'm going to do is put DFO back, have the GoTech, not that one, that's a good one. I will use the less expensive one. Um, I've got to order another one of these. Once I've sold this, I'll get another one. Okay. Careful. Um, so, yeah, so DFO, and that'll be DFO when you use the switcher. Now, I've just realized that from watching the tutorial, oh no, that's no, that chip. Um, yeah, it goes on to there. And then you, you pull that chip out and put that in there. So I don't have a puller chipper router, so I'm going to get a do an 8 bit guy and do it with a screwdriver very gently. So this is going to go where it belongs. So the switch, uh, the guy that did it, he made a, well, he didn't put a hole in it because he had a case, a printed case for his, for his GoTech which I don't have so I've got to decide that's going to be mounted on top of the case um, it's got to look nice so I did a bit of a bit of decoration oh uh, what was I going to say okay and this puppy here mount somewhere I haven't watched the tutorial for it yet but the mount somewhere and that'll stay inside the case permanently so I'm not sure I mean it's 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 Omega to USB and I can use any of my wireless mice except for this one <laughs> this is actually um has its own little one of the very first USB ones has its own little box that's got to sit in front of it to use the infrared or whatever so I might have an extension lead wherever this goes on the motherboard have an extension lead out um, so you can use a USB keyboard and mouse because I bought these, these were cheap, I bought these dirt cheap and they didn't come with mice, I think there's one but, so I've got options, I've got Amiga Amiga to USB mouse adapters and everything's going to have its place so nothing gets tossed around and bent and broken anymore good this I don't know this is a compact flash I think I bought it thinking it would work on a 500 so that's a blooper I made but this is being, still being shipped from the UK with the workbench 2.05 for the 600 so basically I've got two spares now um, if the compact flash doesn't arrive um, I might have to use this and I don't know how to put Workbench 2.5 2.05, never mind so what I'm going to do right now make sure that the actual disk drive works because it's been it's been a month between between looking at this stuff still waiting for stuff to arrive slow uh, snail mail post just want to make sure I haven't damaged anything by just leaving these cases open for a month okay fingers crossed uh, so I borrowed my PlayStation 3 <laughs> monitor for this project as you do lights coming on and yes the disk drive works now, but here's the question then. 
So this is DFO using the floppy disk controller. How do you have two floppy disk controllers? I'm going to have to research that now. Or maybe just ditch, ditch the floppy drive completely and just have the GoTech coming out there with the switch. I really wanted to have a go at, at having two, two drives, but it's not going to work. All right. Well, I've got plenty of spare parts. All right. I think if this power supply works, then this is a finished project. It's as far as I can go. No green light. Okay. Push it in fast. I mean hard. There we go. Don't like the sound of that. It does not like that power supply. It's dead. That power supply is just not working. Okay, so that didn't half scare me. That's the the that one's the dead. Well, just the fuse blown. This is the working power supply. The the cross I put on it is worn off. Hello, kitty cat. So this one works. Um, just curious what it registers with no disk drive. That's what you get with zero disk drives connected. Okay, be gentle now. Right, we have Workbench 3.1 14, what? Oh the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not, it's not plugged in well done. Just amazing. There's little jumpers and things that came with it. Um, a bonus. Spare parts uh, for sale. There we go. Now it's upside down, so... It's not upside down. Oh, okay. That case needs cleaning. So this this is a finished project. Just clean up the, the keys. Yeah. Pardon me, clean up the case. Are you gonna OO? Just out of curiosity, you know. Well the, yeah, I mean that's stupid because I just found a disk drive external disk drive adapter for a GoTech, so now I can have both disk drives. 
<sighs> Except when I put that disk drive in, nothing happens. Weird. Welcome to Clown. Welcome to Clown City. Just ignore. Well, I didn't record it anyway. I just spent ten minutes trying to get a PC <laughs> this drive going. <laughs> All right. So this is this this drive needs fixing. Fingers crossed. Nothing. God, it's not even switched on. Right, fingers crossed. Oh, all right. So this disk drive's working, and this disk drive's working. So we need to put in the DF ODF one switcher. It's exactly what I wanted to do. So this project will be finished when. I'm go losing things now. When this puppy is in, get a better stick maybe. Finished project. Okay, cool. One down. So let's do this. I have no idea about electronics, so I'm wearing a wrist strap. Caution and static device. Observe precautions for handling. Uh, there is instructions. Hang on. So, power down the A500. Well, everything's off. Remove all cabling. Andy static. Discharge yourself before. Okay. Use a wrist strap, so yep, that's what I'm doing. Remove the keyboard, remove the RF that was here. Unscrew the floppy drive, unplug the cable. Done that. Locate the chip marked 8502A1. 8502A1, that's that. This is plugged into the socket marked on the motherboard as even CIA. Yes, it does. It is. Located under 34 pin floppy drive header, it is important to note that the half circle notch orientation at the end of the chip. Half circle. Oh, yeah, that's that side. Yep. It is. Okay, 34 pins. It is important to note that the half circle notch orientation at the end of the chip when it's installed it matches the notch printed on the motherboard for guidance. Note that this is a corresponding notch printed DFO DF1 floppy board. Remove the CIA chip using a suitable extraction tool which I don't have. Take care not to damage or bend the fragile pins of the chip. Plug in the CIA chip into the... Yep, I know all that. Okay. No, I don't think a screwdriver is going to work. No, you have to have the right tool. Anything. Ok, 
so you bent those two you twit Now the roundy bit, okay, it's there, and I did see it before, it's there. What are you stuck on? What would you do with the chip? Well, where's the roundy bit? Okay, now let's see if I've blown anything. The moment of truth. dangerous place on earth. How do you turn a TV on? I've forgotten. Okay. I win. Got to find a floppy disk. You just put one up there. Hang on. Oh, I can't actually believe I actually did that. So, if we put a disc in... <laughs> Why am I surprised? I don't know, I've never done anything like this before. It's July, 31st of July, 1989 right now. Isn't that exciting? Started a background task. Oh, it's got a virus checker. <laughs> How many viruses can we have in 2020 for an A500? I really want to keep this, but yeah. One day. <sighs> Needs a good clean. Right, so. Copy of workbench. Keyboard doesn't work. Is it control alt control omega omega? Oh, bugger. So let's switch this. And see what happens. It should bypass the floppy drive. Oops, sorry. Two four oh, I haven't got the stick in. Yeah. Amateur hour. So that has bypassed the floppy drive. It's gone 2, 3, 60, 128. Flash file, flash floppy. Does the keyboard work? No. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Control, Amiga, Amiga. Yes! So there's something wrong with the other keyboard. When I fix the keyboard, this project is over. It's finished. Fin! Just out of curiosity, what the hell is this big blob? Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> this one's fine. It's got a little roundy bit there. Maybe that's what the problem is. Definitely some, something just stuck over that. Okay, so I haven't filmed me putting this on, but let's hope. TV on. Let's hope it boots. Well, how are you going to know? There's no keyboard. <laughs> okay. So this keyboard lights up, but it doesn't do anything other than that. Is it plugged in? Again, the power wasn't on. Mm. Too many things. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my gosh. It's working. <laughs> Why is there no picture? Crap. Okay, well here's the reason why it's no picture. I have broken The end one off so I don't know how to fix that I'll post put a post on reddit see if I can get some answers <laughs> 